Welcome to the Frequently Asked Questions webinar. I am Jody Amaro, the Workforce Development Coordinator at the Alberta Council of Disability Services. The purpose of this video is to offer quick answers to the most frequently asked questions regarding the workforce classification system. More detailed information may be available in the previous videos. If you have further questions, please submit them to workforce at acds.ca. Your question will be answered and may be included in a future video. How does the workforce classification system address unique services such as art or outdoor programs? The workforce classification system is being used in organizations across Alberta, including several with unique programs. The workforce classification system focuses on the daily work being performed and skills necessary for success. This allows it to be used in organizations offering many kinds of programming, including employment services, children's services, outdoor programs, art programs, and other programming. We are unable to hire to the standard in the benchmark profile. What do we do? The realities of local job markets do not always allow organizations to hire to the standard set out in the Workforce Classification Manual. Service providers are encouraged to examine the needs of their own organization and set their own hiring standards based on these needs. If organizations struggle to recruit to that standard, it is acceptable to hire at a lower level with the understanding that new members of staff are expected to reach the standards set by the organization within a reasonable amount of time. Existing members of staff do not have the skills and experience laid out in the benchmark profiles, should they be let go. The workforce classification system is not intended to push anybody out of the sector. Long-serving staff whose skills don't match the benchmark standard do not need to be removed from the organization. If a member of staff is satisfied with their position and uninterested in moving into higher levels on the career ladder, this is also okay. Supervisors may encourage them to improve their skills and progress in their career and use the tools in the manual to demonstrate the financial rewards of moving forward, but career progression is not mandatory. Organizations may choose to grandfather in existing staff at their current skill level and move forward with the increased standards for new hires. The skills and competencies in the benchmark profiles do not match the needs of our organization. What do we do? The competencies are generalized expectations for the sector, however, one size does not fit all. Organizations are expected to personalize the competencies and skill expectations to the needs of their own organization. A member of staff believes they have been misclassified. What do we do? The member of staff should complete the job information questionnaire with their supervisor. The information can then be forwarded to the evaluation committee, which will evaluate the position independently and make the final determination if the position will be reclassified. How do we handle unique positions within the organization during the job evaluation process? The workforce classification system is designed in a way that allows for the evaluation of a wide variety of positions. If the evaluation team is having difficulty evaluating a position, they should make use of the job information questionnaire tool to ensure they have all the information necessary to fairly and accurately evaluate the position. What is the recommended wage range for each of the workforce classification system job titles? The Alberta Council of Disability Services does not tell organizations how much to pay its staff. Wages are influenced by multiple factors, including local job markets, cost of living, sources of funding, and skill expectations. While the workforce classification system does include recommendations on how to build a wage grid and assign staff positions on the wage grid, what the staff will be paid is an internal decision. Organizations may access resources such as the ACDS Survey of Salaries and Select Human Resource Practices for more information on average sector wages and benefits. Contact ACDS for more information. Thank you for watching this webinar. If you have further questions, please contact the Alberta Council of Disability Services.